What's up guys? Welcome back to Flipping the Script Fishing. Well today I got a treat for you. I got a chance to meet up with Caleb Bell, a new captain for Bass Quest Fishing Charters. We got a chance to meet up on the river and search for Mondo smallmouth bass. Oh, yeah. Still alive. <laughs> Now, if you're not familiar with Caleb Bell, he's had a, a YouTube channel for quite some time called Bass Quest, where he has put on display his amazing skill for catching giant bass with regular consistency. So if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel yet, you're missing out. And lucky for you and I, he recently started a bass fishing charters, giving guided trips with both live bait and artificial lures. And in just a few short weeks, he's already helped these guys catch a bass of a lifetime. He's got an incredible knowledge of the river and how to catch big fish, as well as a great skill with his electronics and other tools on how to catch these giant fish. And of course, I jumped at the opportunity to get out there and fish with him. We started out on the Tennessee River on this cool, crisp, foggy autumn morning. As you can see here, the current was rolling pretty good. So we knew we were going to have to look for current seams and other current breaks in order to catch these small ones. I guess so. You can see it's kind of like a horseshoe shaped point, so it's like maybe that's the creek channel coming out right there. I think it's settling in. When you get a hard rain, it probably runs off. Yeah, settles down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it sits in that upper. They tried to eat this guy. I got him. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. There was one a giant tried to eat this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I thought it was a striper at first, but it was a it looked like a, a big spot. It was a smallie. It was a small big smallie. Gosh. Huge small. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a, I was like, wow. That might be a glitch. Gosh, that thing was big. So many of them. <sighs> that was huge. That was a trophy for sure. Called the what rig now? Called a hover rig. Hover rig. Hover rig. All right, Caleb's gonna show us how to do a hover rig. Hold on a minute. All right. All right. So the first thing you do is you take this little Nico weight. And you want to come into about the middle of the nose, but you want it to be kicked towards the belly. That shove it all the way in there. This one is, uh, I think it's a 16th ounce. It is. Okay. You 
you probably want to go 16th or 8th on this. So you can see that weight's in there now yeah. towards the bottom. And what I do is I take, this is just a little do it molds, it's a 90 degree little jig hook that you would pour for probably crappie, it's a one aught. Yeah. So you got that in there and you go about half an inch, maybe a little bit more behind where you would normally thread in. You go down to about the center of the bait and then you rig this straight as you can like you were normally you know rigging one there like a jig hook bait okay and then what you do is you pull this down and then you just put the 90 degree in it yeah. oh, okay it's like that i got you it probably what has happens a, was has it, a it sits it sits very even in the water you can work it vertically or you can work it let it fall and stuff on those fish huh. does it so, tear the bait up when you like hook up or anything yeah You'll, you'll go through baits but since you've got so much meat in there yeah a lot of times what you can do too is you can tie a little line keeper onto there kind of like an okashira head line keeper yeah and so i'll probably take a bunch of these hooks and tie that up so it'll stay on a little bit better but we're gonna see if we can uh catch the fish on you probably put like an o-ring or something on there too man yeah 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 cool all right a little bit better i bet you if, if you had a, a regular swim bait on there like you might get a, a little bit of a wobble you know I have a little bit different wobble on Therefore, the action slowed down a bit, so I decided to throw something I could hop on the bottom. I chose a TRD from Z-Man, rigged on a one-tenth ounce Ned head, Ned rig. get a guess what I caught here because you know already <laughs> oh hey. I have a hook that's surely sure. alright <laughs> always good for a catfish every time every time
Paul, there were plenty of fish behind the Chickamauga Dam tail races. They were the wrong species. So we decided to drift down the bank and throw moving lures to see if we couldn't find any of the brown fish we were looking for. This is actually what we're really after. Came down here for big river bluegill. I'll do that. <laughs> Still alive. Still alive. <laughs> Still alive. Could have been killed. <coughs> even worse. Uh, woo. Save that. That'd be good for a short. short. <laughs> that was awesome. Just turned it on too. Soul out. <clears throat> How dare you? 
I'll tell you what, the big fish, regardless of what they are, is going to get on this whole sport. Yeah. Don't do that. Now. As we worked our way down the river, we decided to jump back and forth and hit likely ambush spots. That usually meant vertical structure, large rocks, things of that nature. Anywhere a large predatory fish could sit and wait for prey to swim by. As the day wore on and the search continued, <clears throat> the cloud cover increased as we had some thunderstorms that were approaching from the west. And it was at this time that we noticed a significant increase in the activity of those big smallmouth. So something to remember, don't cancel your trip if you got inclement weather pushing in because that's exactly when those big ones get active. Tech. Check that out. Beauty. I'm gonna get her at least this <laughs> You're so quick. Alright. It's gotta be another. Oh, there was one I saw. Go after yours. Show him on my camera there, too. Oh, oh, hey, what a giant. That's a big in there. That's a big one. Oh, oh, my gosh. There's a lean on in there. Get that spot on the tongue. Yeah. Woo, dog, look at this. Right here. Check it out. <laughs> That's a nice one there. <laughs> Check that out. That's a pig. Woohoo. That's the biggest smallmouth that I've caught in a while. Nice. Old Bass Quest Fishing Charters, right? Is that what it is? Bass Quest Fishing Charters, baby. Call them up. 60% of the time. 
<laughs> that is a 20, that is a 21 and a half inch small mouth stud. Check that one out. <laughs> Man, Love me some small mouth. There he goes. Oh man. There he goes. That was a nice one. Really nice one. Captain. Captain Caleb Bell over here. I'm gonna get your captain hat. I got my captain hat. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> a Kai Tech yeah. 2.8 on a uh, one of these little jig heads. You can get all this at Talking Tackle. Go check them out. Sexy Shad. All right.
Trip's gotten cut a little bit short. We got a pretty long day in them. Um, lots of lots of fish, lots of small mouth, spot, knee mouth, very few large mouth, but a couple other fish. But I tell you what, it was a fun day. But we got some nastiness coming up behind us when we were out there, and some really some serious lightning started coming down. So. <laughs> So we thought we'd come back. <laughs> but Caleb, brother, I appreciate you. Um, I tell you guys, you need to get a hold of him if you want to trip out. He knows every inch of this river, it seems like. And uh, he'll put you on some good fish. You'll have a chance at some big fish. And uh, he can also teach you a lot of different techniques. So make sure you look him up. It's uh, Bass Quest Charters. Bass Quest Fishing Charters. Fishing Charters. I forgot the fishing part. That's the most important part. How could I forget? That's right. That's right. Anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. So, make sure you look him up, and uh, you won't you won't be disappointed. I uh, had a blast today. Caught a nice smallmouth. Oh yeah, that was a really good one. That was a and really a few good. nice ones. I mean, got, yeah. got a few really good ones, and then one like nice ones. Nice. Yeah, that was that, that's that's the kind of you go looking for. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, till next time, tight lines.